Welcome back guys to this video in which we're gonna mint an NFT using the Aptos CLI and then we're gonna use the newly released Morales Aptos specific Web3 API. Boom! It's gonna be super nice, super fast and we're gonna use this transactions endpoint. This is for the mainnet, we're gonna do it on the testnet. So let's get started. Uh, we're gonna follow the steps from the Aptos documentation but let me show you how to do it. We're gonna go in here in the terminal and we're gonna paste this with this specific address uh, we're gonna hit yes to use the octas gas 150 octas and then there we have it we have minted this nft and we have the transaction hash now we can take this and replace this part right here with that save it go back to the terminal and hit npm run start so we can now see this transaction using the morales api and we can see when this happened the timestamp uh if we go to the top we can see the modules that were uh changed so the right module the right resource for example we can see the hash here as well and the gas used and we can actually take this hash go to the aptos explorer just make sure you're on testnet right here paste this in in the search field and you can see right here everything that has happened for this specific hash we can see the events the payload the changes and everything that we just console logged using the morales api now that's pretty cool if you want to do this make sure you sign up for the morales pro account and now i will show you how to do this so stay tuned Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. All right, let's get started with the Aptos documentation to mint an NFT, more specifically an event ticket NFT. And we're going to follow these docs to understand the process. Make sure you you've done everything that's needed and set up your environment right here. Then go ahead and clone this repo. So let's copy that and go inside the terminal. I have created a mint Aptos NFT, which is empty for now. So let's make sure we clone this one. And while this is happening, let's go back right here and we're gonna have to install the Aptos CLI. I've already done this, so I'm gonna go ahead to step number two and we're gonna do Aptos in it. So make sure you copy this command and go back to the same um, folder that we cloned this. And let's wait until this is done, perfect. We can hit this command and we can choose the preferred network right here. If you want, choose mainnet, uh, the docs, tells us to use devnet right here. I'm going to use testnet though. So I'm going to write testnet and then just hit enter to generate our private key like so. And it's a success. Perfect. And you can see those steps are printed right here as well. And we can see the final message. Next, it wants us to navigate to this folder right here. So copy this and it says it's going to be inside Aptos core. So let's do cd Aptos core like so. And then we can paste this and it's gonna take us to this specific directory. And next it wants us to run aptos move publish uh, to publish the move module in that directory. And we can also add the private key we generated above. So let's copy this whole command right here, paste it in, make sure we delete this part and then add your private key right here, like so, and hit enter. Now it's gonna ask us if you want to use the gas. So type yes and hit enter and we should be able to mint this nft right here that's perfect now we can actually take this transaction hash and we can go to the aptos explorer so inside the documentation you can actually follow along step by step right here and it says go to the aptos explorer so let's open that up and we're not using devnet we're in testnet so let's make sure we choose that one up there paste this transaction hash in there and there we have it that's perfect. We can see all the changes, uh, the payload, and also the events right here, the collection name, for example. And finally, what we want to do is we're gonna use Morales and we're gonna go under the Aptos right here. We're gonna choose transaction API and get transaction. Now, if you're on mainnet, make sure you copy this right here, this code snippet, because this is on mainnet. We're on testnet, so we're going to have a different endpoint. Now let's create another folder and initialize with npm so we can install the node fetch module. And also make sure you add this type module 
and then create an index.js file. Now we're actually using the code from the Morales API. The only thing we've changed here is the endpoint because that was for the mainnet and we're using the testnet. Now let's also add the transaction hash in here in the endpoint, hit save and then go back to the terminal and we hit npm run start. We can see the logs right here. So we can see the date and the timestamp. It was today, like a minute ago or so. And we can see the payload here as well. There we have it, all the data, the modules, as I showed before in the intro, and also the, tr the transaction hash and the gas used. Now this is pretty valuable and you can display all this data in your dApp in a very simple and fast way using the Morales API. But I hope you enjoyed this quick little video uh, of using Aptos. If you have any questions, make sure you post them in the comment section below. Otherwise, just sign up for Morales Pro account and take your dApps to the next step with just a few lines of code.